Andrew, what are the highlights of today's numbers? Well, it's been a really successful year. I mean, profits are up 26% and uh, we had some targets for operating capital generation, which we've beaten with uh, £1.7 billion of operating capital generation in the year. Uh, and the balance sheet's much stronger. We're back uh, now at a position where the uh, net assets of the company are pre-crisis levels. Uh, so overall, uh, I'm really pleased with that performance. You've highlighted strong performances in both life and general insurance. What's behind this? Well, you're right. We aim to be excellent in both life and general insurance. And what's pleasing about these results uh, is that the life performance is really strong. Uh, profits are up 23%, sales are up 4%, over £37 billion in the year. Um, that's been happening for a couple of years now, that life in performance has been improving. Uh, but what's really pleasing this year, I think, is to see general insurance beginning to turn around uh, and profits over a billion pounds again uh, and uh, growth uh, also particularly in the UK book. So that turnaround's very important to us. Uh, you know, we're not firing on all cylinders yet. Uh, when Aviva gets both general insurance and life uh, moving strongly together, uh, that's when it's really powerful and you'll see the real earnings generation. Uh, I think 2010 are the first signs that that's uh, not too far away. You've emphasised your capital generation and balance sheet. What's happened here? Well, yeah, you're right. The balance sheet has really strengthened during the year, and that's partly about markets, which have helped us, uh, but it's also about a lot of action that we've taken. Uh, and perhaps most pronounced in that is the pension scheme. Uh, at the end of 2009, uh, the pension scheme deficit uh, was £1.7 billion. Uh, at the end of 2010, uh, there is no deficit. Uh, so that's a huge improvement. Uh, that's because we've closed uh, the final salary scheme to future accrual. Uh, there have been mortality improvements. We've put cash uh, into the pension scheme as well. It's really important because uh, it's an area which has uh, hung over the shares, I think, for a number of years, and it's an uncertainty now which has been largely eliminated. In November 2010, you set out your refreshed strategy. So can you remind us of the key elements of this and what it holds for the future? Yes, well, in the post-financial crisis world, we decided we needed to really re-emphasise our commitment to 12 key markets. Uh, eight of those in Europe, including the UK, uh, which is really the heartland for our earnings and earnings growth going forward, uh, but also the US and Canada uh, and China and India in Asia. Those are the 12 markets where we're going to invest uh, and concentrate on growth. Uh, over and above that, we also re-emphasised our commitment to the composite model, to write life and general insurance business, to be excellent at both, but also get the benefits, particularly the capital benefits uh, of the diversification that comes with running both businesses together, and the synergies also that come with that. Uh, so if you like, that's the long-term view uh, on the strategy, and that's what you can expect from Aviva over the next few years. We coupled it uh, with some short-term targets. Uh, around profitability on new business, where we said we'd earn over 12% internal rates of return, uh, a commitment for 2011 in terms of the combined ratio in the general insurance business, 97% uh, or better, uh, and some further cost-saving targets. That's uh, 200 million more of cost-saving uh, by the end of 2012, and I'm glad to say uh, that we're well on the way to achieving those targets. You've emphasised your commitment to your customers in the last few years. Why, in your opinion, is that so important to Aviva's success? Well, we have more than 53 million customers around the world. Uh, and you know, Aviva's target market is the middle market. Uh, we don't aim for high net worth individuals. Uh, so uh, appealing to those customers uh, with the brand change that we've made and promoting uh, the brand has worked really well for us. I mean, here in the UK, for example, by the end of 2010, we had 200,000 more motor customers uh, than we had at the end of 2009. That's the brand in action. That is the brand working. We've got more than 19 million customers here in the UK, so that's one in three households. And we've invested heavily uh, in automating the customer offering as well. So, for example, if you take out a general insurance policy here in the UK, more than 95% of our customers now will receive their documents online. All of that makes it easier for them uh, and it makes it more efficient for us. So in conclusion, Andrew, and, and looking forward, how do you view the outlook for Aviva in 2011? 
Well, look, we come into this year on a very sound footing. I mean, with much stronger uh, profits in 2010, uh, a stronger balance sheet, and uh, I was really pleased to see recently external validation of that with uh, positive rating agency action from both Fitch and Standard & Poor's. Uh, so there's room for real optimism, uh, I think, in 2011 on earnings. Some of our markets uh, in uh, Western Europe, for example, there's no doubt there are some economic challenges, but people are responding uh, by actually being more provident, as they always are in these circumstances. Uh, and that actually provides us with business opportunities. So we saw uh, growth in sales in the UK and Europe in 2010. I expect that to be the case. Uh, in 2011 as well. And meanwhile, uh, we're going to go on um, doing things to help ourselves in terms of making the business more efficient. Uh, the result of that should be higher income, lower costs, and improved profitability. Andrew, what would your message be to our people around the world? Well, look, first of all, I think we should celebrate the success of 2010. I think it's a great performance for the company. Uh, and as always, it's the result of an awful lot of hard work by everybody throughout the company. And that success is broadly based. It's coming really from all parts of our business. I think as we look forward, uh, look, there's more to do. Uh, and I know I always say that, uh, and I'm always bound to. Um, but I really feel that the hard work of the last few years is beginning to pay off. It can be seen in the numbers. Uh, the share price has begun to move as well. I know we all want to see that continue to do so. Um, so really, the last thing I'd like to say is a, a really genuine thank you uh, to everybody in the group for all of their efforts in 2010. I'm really pleased uh, that the benefits can be seen in the numbers that we're publishing today.